Hi, today we're going to discuss the difference between enterprise value and equity value. As you'll see in the screen, we've got a simple balance sheet uh, with the assets equal to liabilities plus equity. So before we go ahead and get started and actually derive enterprise value and equity value from this simple balance sheet, I think it makes sense to first define what both enterprise value and equity value actually are. So enterprise value is the value of the operations of a business available to everyone, both debt and equity investors, or and preferred if, if the company had preferred. Equity value is the value of the operations of a business after non-equity claims plus the value of non-operating assets. Now, when you read both these definitions, it probably seems pretty convoluted. So let's first just take a step back and actually define what enterprise value is in terms of equity value. So enterprise value is equal to equity value plus net debt. And as you probably recall, net debt is really equal to debt less cash and qu cash equivalents. Uh, this is actually also equal to net operating assets which is what we define to be operating assets, less operating liabilities. And I think both the definitions and the formula will make a lot more sense in just a minute after we actually derive enterprise value and equity value from the fundamental accounting equation. So our next step is going to be, what, what is the fundamental accounting equation? That is assets equals liabilities plus equity. Okay. Now, we know that a company has both operating assets and non-operating assets. In other words, unless you're a bank, cash is not really uh, gen is not really a part of core operations of the business, while accounts receivable and plant property and equipment are. So I think it's fair to say that a company has both operating assets and non-operating assets, with the most common non-operating asset being cash. Okay, and we'll discuss it, we'll discuss this in greater detail uh, later on. And we can also agree that a company has both operating liabilities and non-operating liabilities. For example, accounts payable, accrued expenses, those are all considered operating liabilities because they're uh, involved with the daily operations of a business, while debt, on the other hand, is con considered a financing liability. So let's go ahead and break this up into operating liabilities and non-operating liabilities, with debt being the most common non-operating liability. And then equity is equity. You don't really break it up into, you know, operating equity and non-operating equity. That's that's sort of nonsensical. So now what we're going to do is just some simple algebra. We're going to move uh, non-operating assets to the other side and non-operating liabilities to this left side. So it's, let's get operating assets minus operating liabilities is equal to non-operating liabilities minus non-operating assets plus equity. Okay, so uh, we can uh, actually use some shorthand notation now. So operating assets minus OA minus OL is equal to, and then I'm going to use the parenthetical term. So we've got debt minus cash plus equity. In other words, operating assets minus operating liabilities is equal to net debt plus equity, which is also known as enterprise value. So hopefully you, with this derivation, you can see uh, what these two definitions really mean. So enterprise value is the value of the operations of a business available to everyone. You can see it's the value of the operations available to both debt and equity investors, while equity value is really the value of the operations of a business after taking out non-equity claims such as debt. But just be aware there's other things other than debt. There's preferred stock, there's non-controlled interests, technically unfunded pension liabilities, but really for all intents and purposes, debt is your, is your most common non-equity claim that you need to net out of enterprise value. And so now that we know what these definitions are and we have our formulas, I say let's go ahead and take our balance sheet and actually derive both equity value and enterprise value. Uh, you can see equity value is easy. It's going to be 150 at the starting balance sheet. 
This number will obviously change later on as the com- company continues to operate because we know that operations will affect the, uh, the overall value of the company. So before we actually figure out what enterprise value is, I think it makes sense to define what each of these line items are. So we know that cash is considered a non-operating asset, while accounts receivable is considered an operating asset. pp e is also an operating asset. Accounts payable is considered an operating liability, while accrued expenses, same thing, it's considered an operating liability, and then debt is considered a non-operating liability. So now that we've defined these various line items, let's go ahead and actually derive enterprise value. So if enterprise value is equal to operating assets minus operating liabilities, which is equal to net debt plus equity, let's go ahead and define define this in two ways. So as far as operating assets go, you can see that we actually have two non-operating assets. We've got accounts receivable and plant property and equipment. So our total operating assets is going to be equal to 350, while our operating liabilities is really equal to what? It's the sum of accounts payable and accrued expenses, which is 150. So the difference between OA and OL is going to give us 200, which is our enterprise value. But now what I want to do is I actually want to derive this. uh, I want to calculate enterprise value uh, as a uh, using net debt and equity. So if we know our net debt, our net debt is going to be what? It's going to be this 150 of debt less this 100 of cash. So let's put that down right now. And then our equity is 150, as we can clearly see from our from our balance sheet. So we know the difference between the debt and the cash, which is net debt, is going to be 50 plus the 150 of equity. So the sum, again, is 200. So you can see that the enterprise value is equal to 200, while the equity value is equal to 150. So hopefully at this point, you can clearly see the difference between enterprise value and equity value. Uh, Once again, enterprise value is the value of the operations of a business available to everyone, while equity value is the value of the operations of a business after subtracting out non-equity claims plus the value of non-operating assets. Uh, So this concludes our brief uh, video seminar on the difference between enterprise value and equity value. Thank you.